welcome back to my channel y'all Chrissy's point of view I am Chrissy and today we are going to discuss success so what is success to you because my whole thing about success is you have to be prepared that if it is your fall you're willing to get back up if it is your fail you're willing to go at it again and again and again and if you fall you get up again 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 right success doesn't just be handed to you it's something that it is you have to actually be at it all the time you have to adapt new habits you can't sleep late as you want to you can't what they call it go to bed early as you want to right there are going to be a lot of late nights right you ain't, ain't agree there got to be a lot of great night because remember the successful people do not it didn't happen overnight it was over a period of time and they had to work for a certain amount of time in order to to get the success it wasn't like they work one month and they get it they work two months they work five months they work six months and they get it it was over a period of time so you have to be patient you have to have faith that faith your your faith will be tested so many times when it comes to your success your faith will be like you know it hanging on a thread like a cliffhanger and you need basically you have to pull it up <laughs> y'all this thing is real i mean people look at success for people and they envy successful people but they don't really want to pass the, the way where successful people they don't want to go through um what it is they go through right you have to think in your head am i willing to do this to get this right what what successful people do you follow do you have a mentor right do you who do you listen to do you listen to persons like steve harvey oprah um tyler perry uh will smith do you have you heard their testimonies have you heard wesley virgin's testimony wesley virgin is my mentor he started off in a in an apartment with an air mattress my people right and he work his way up and he's a billionaire right now imagine that in a matter of years a short short space of time and you hear about tyler perry and uh steve harvey they both lived in their car right but they know about writing the vision and writing the vision down and making it plain so have you written your vision down my people have you written your vision down have you written your plans down like what it is you want to accomplish in this year 2021 what you want to accomplish i'm not talking about new year's resolution i'm talking about having an actual plan as in step by step my people let me give you some a little advice right read the book think and grow rich he shows you exactly like how to go about getting your plans like how to establish yourself and how to um, get well step by step because if it is you have that desire to go after it and you don't have the faith you're wasting time and you don't have the endurance you're wasting time because wishing for a thing will get you nowhere my people wishing for a thing will definitely get you nowhere i hope hoping will get you nowhere you have to take action you have to actually go out and get it done right it will not be handed to you my people time and time again you have seen other persons do it so don't make excuses and say i can't leave can't out of your vocabulary right i challenge you to leave can't out of your vocabulary and put in can i can i will right 
and when it is you're doing your affirmation say i am speak in me now right so and speak of gratefulness so you speak of i am now grateful or i am grateful now right that i have so 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 whatever it is you're believing god for you speak in me now you speak in me now and you speak and say i am grateful because gratefulness and love have a lot of have a lot to do with what it is like when it comes to being successful love that energy that energy of love that energy of gratefulness the energy of faith three strong energies that it is you have to practice when it comes to being successful because you could you could be and you have to be emotional about it too because you could be saying i am i i am grateful now that i am wealthy i am grateful now that i have a million dollars i am grateful now when you're saying it like anyhow you have to say it like if it is i am grateful now like you're crying like you're so grateful you have to be like real into it you have to be an into it and you have to it had to be emotional yeah what it, my mentor wesley virgin he speaks about motion creates emotion is it that right motion creates emotion and you have to when it is you say near affirmations i am successful now you have to mean it you have to say it with authority and mean it it will take some while because transforming the subconscious mind for success transforming the subconscious mind for wealth and for you to prosper for you to make it out here your it is not easy becoming that person of success is not easy right that's why i introduced the book um think and grow rich by napoleon hill because it shows you step by step and you can't just read the book once and my people you have to read it multiple times like you're learning like for a test because success is not overnight success is learned right success is learned my people you can't just do it once and expect it it is something consistent habits you have to break i recommend the book breaking the habits of being yourself right breaking the habits of being yourself because you have to break habits because as i said becoming a person of success is a is something you have to go through for yourself nobody else can do it for you you have to go through it for yourself you ever and i i tell other people like for god you have to know god for yourself you have to know if it is you're not a believing person in god in in what you call a higher being or whatever you have to know for yourself what it is you believe you have to know for yourself if it is what your faith is like yes you have faith this thing will happen for you right but when you have any faith you have to know if it is it will happen you have to be able to hang in there right you have to what you call as the book napoleon hill think and grow rich he spoke about um these warriors they came to fight a war and they knew for sure that they were going to win this war that they burn all the ships so there was they were saying we burn our ships what it is burn all the ships we either die we either perish or we win right so you have to know if it is you going to go against all odds and make it happen for yourself make it happen for yourself my people right success is learned right so pick yourself up get back up again last year was a tough year we knew it 2020 was a tough year whatever time you're listening to this 
particular video you may have had some tough times right you had some good times you had some tough times but the bible also talk about yeah yes you may say that i keep getting religious on here but i'm a christian and i think i said that more than once but the bible spoke about there's a season for different things so you will not always have a bad season all the time things will not always be done for you i want you to believe that right but be ready for your season of blessings be ready for your seasons of success so you set up yourself for success always wake up in the morning for success set up your day for success do not wake up anticipating I'm going to get stressed today. Um, uh, today going to be a hard day. Today going to be a stressful day. Oh gosh. Um, you feel people like Tiger Woods will get up and say, Oh, I, um, hmm, I want to bring one wet the, um, the lawn today. I may not be able to play golf today. I may not be able to practice today. And start like actually thinking like, bringing that in his reality that it gonna rain today i wouldn't get to practice golf today i wouldn't get to do anything today you know we wake up with this a lot of us wake up with this type of negativity we start our day with negativity instead of being grateful right i was talking about being grateful before right so all that is part of success so my advice for success is gratefulness be grateful all the time have a spirit of gratefulness all the time right second whatever may be going on in your household or whatever try your best to meditate and push that energy out that bad energy out and try your best whatever in you <laughs> y'all i talk him because it has happened to me and show love because love is the strongest he, napoleon hill in his book said love is the strong love is one of the strongest energies and if it is you can't show that that will be blocking your success right and you don't want things block your success right so forgive the person and move on forgive whatever it is going on with you Whoever hurt you in the past, forgive and move on. There may, sit, there may be certain things that it is you have to change about yourself. I gave you the book, Breaking the Habits of Being Yourself. It will, be, will not be easy at first because it will be like a drug. Your brain is easy to change once you allow it to change. Right? Your brain is what you call clutter, but you can unclutter it right and i want to introduce you to a gift that i left for you under this video because i appreciate you so much right because i want you to succeed right it's a it's a program by the name of the genie script right i will leave it underneath for you because i want you to succeed i want you to move forward in life right and my mentor wesley virgin he created this personal development program right my people it is a life changer it is a life changer if you are interested in this genie script click the link below click the link below right other than that you can look up different successful persons and feed your mind these kind of things feed feed your mind positivity because guess what yes you feed your mind positivity but actually moving forward and willing to go the extra mile to get your success is what it is you will get you the success because a lot of positive people are still poor yes a lot of positive people are still poor but you have to know i want this thing bad i want you to have that mentality i want this thing bad and i must get this thing 
I must get this thing. So, again, I thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget your gift underneath. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell so you won't miss a video. And see you next time on Chrissy's Point of View. And remember, success is not earned, it is learned. <laughs>